Well, Graham, it's a stirring stuff in the second half, but you've left yourselves a lot to do. Yeah, I thought we were very naive with our start. Uh, I think their, their tempo in the 1v1 duels was stronger than ours. Uh, it's the first time I felt uh, disappointed with the group. Um, and then we made a few changes, made a change after 30 minutes at 3-0. We have to take the positives because I think any other group would have crumbled at that point. I don't know what it was, maybe the third goal went in on 25 minutes. We, uh, we get back to 3-2, made a few tactical changes, made a few personnel changes and we took a few risks at the end but could quite easily have, have, have taken something from the game. So it was a mountain to climb at 3-0 at down but um, sometimes you win. And sometimes you learn, and today I'm afraid it's time to learn. Well, it was uncharacteristic, wasn't it, that first half hour? Because they've, you know, acquitted themselves and been at it, as it were, in all the other games, and uh, for whatever reason, it just wasn't there. Yeah, and I, I can't give you the reason for that. I'll need to look into the physical data, um, and maybe it'll give me a, a better explanation. Um, but it was out of character because the the character of the boys is not that. Um, I just thought we started a little bit sluggish, a little bit naive. I think Queen's Park Rangers are a very good side. I said that pretty much, uh, and I think they proved that for 30 minutes. But again, you show people no respect, as we did for the last 60 minutes, and you can see what we're going to achieve. We won the second half 1-0. So, like I said, it's a learning curve. Um, you made the change bringing Izzy Brown in, um, perhaps some sort of a more attacking change to sort of have a go at them, but did it leave you exposed? Maybe I'll have to look back. I think Izzy earned it. Mm. So the, the school I'm from, I think you have to reward people for hard work, you have to reward people for uh, being ready, being ready to contribute, coming on and changing a game. Um, football made them decisions, not me. I'm just looking at the evidence. Um, but Izzy's a good player, I've got no doubt about that. Izzy wasn't the reason why we're 3-0 down. It's a collective it's a collective thing, me included. So we'll look, we'll analyse yourself, um, we'll face it. It's, uh, uh, it's Sometimes it's tough, but we will learn from it. I'll assure you of that, we will learn from it. So. That's where we are. And goals from Cornick and Collins. He's still had a bit to do, Harry Cornick, in fairness. And obviously, obviously James Collins was going to score after the week he's had. Yeah, the two boys are well and truly at the championship level now. I think Collins got three and three. I think Harry maybe, maybe Harry's got three goals now. Um, delighted with them. Um, we're always creating chances. We're a handful going forward. Um, but as a team, we need to be uh, not so naive and a little bit better defensively. So it's clear where the work is next week. Thank you. Thank you. For the first goal, obviously, Sluger probably could have done better with that one. Yeah, but you know the modern ball, Mike. The modern ball was moving, and I don't want to. I don't want to dig out any individuals. I think I pick players, so I'll take responsibility for the personnel that I pick. Um, we should have. We should have got out and blocked it. Uh, we give the ball away in central areas where. They had a lot of bodies, so there's, there's always more than one mistake that leads to a goal. So, as I've said, we'll analyse that. Was the third goal especially disappointing as well? Because they, they did come and slice through quite easily uh, for that one. Right? Yeah, I'd, I'd, uh, I can't remember. There's then the third, I think one of them came from Leisner from the sweep bar. The clip, that, that's disappointing. Um, but anyway, that, that was the situation we were in. It's always disappointing to score. You want to keep clean sheets and score goals every week. Make my job nice and easy, but it's not. And sometimes you have to take it on the chin. Nobody said this was going to be easy coming in the championship. But we'll learn from today. And when you've got the character of the lads that we've got, you know, I've seen teams fold at that point. 3 0 down, it was 3 2. We took them to the last second of the game. At QBR, five years been in the championship, an established championship club. We are. We're learning and we've done very, very well. But we're going to have to face this one. It's difficult because we lost the game. There's no getting away from it. We lost the game. So today we're losers. And that feeling I don't like. I don't like. There's a way to lose. Didn't like how we, how we lost in the first 30 minutes. So we need to improve. And I can assure you we will. Did you have words at half time? Because obviously you disappointed them for that first 30 minutes. Did you, did you let them know? Or had you kind of uh, uh, sent them out the second half of that one? No, we. <coughs> 
I deal with all half times, Mike. It's obviously it's in the privacy of that room. We made one or two technical changes. I let one or two know I was disappointed with with what I saw first half. That's the role as a manager. It's nothing. It's nothing complicated. And I think the key for me is the reaction of the boys. The reaction of the boys is just exceptional. But we can't be naive. We can't come to championship clubs and start a game that way. And, that's where the learning curve is today. Graham, you said earlier that some of your players you feel are now reaching the championship level. Yep, Can some of them. Some of them, yeah. Can you talk a little bit more about what you mean by that? You're seeing a, an improvement in their standards, is that what you mean? Uh, not standards. Standards have been there from minute one, but you, you have to believe you're a championship player. Andrew Shinney believed he was a championship player today. Harry Cornick believed he was a championship player. I thought the subs came on and contributed. They were ready. I don't. I can't remember the last time that uh, Elliot played. Maybe Cardiff, George, Brendan. They came on and gave us a lift, give us an impetus, uh, give us a change of shape. So there was. You know, I don't. I don't want to go on talking about positives. The mental step I mean is Harry scored again. James Collins scored again. But we've still got lots to learn. How busy the fans are that they stuck behind you. I mean, a few, to be fair, did, did leave it at 3 0, but the ones yep. that stayed behind saw a rousing second half, didn't they? Yeah, um, the fans, you, you know my thoughts on the fans. I thank them again for that because that is difficult. And so many turned out here today. But they've got to, they've got to trust us. Um, if they'd have stayed in the stadium, they would have seen a turnaround. And unfortunately, we couldn't quite get that last goal. Um, but we're in this together. I keep saying that. Uh, it disappoints me when I hear people leave. It's like, no matter what happens, we're going to stand firm, we're going to be honest, we're going to face things together as a group. And the vast majority did that today, so uh, the players felt it and I certainly felt it.